looks yeah. very slick. Yeah. All of his wins, as I mentioned, by yeah. Savage. Yeah. Yeah. His opponent is sloppy. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Zhang versus Lee 3. Two world title fights to come. Five fights in all on this main card, and we start off with a crack. She can already threaten the level changes. Looking to possibly wrestle here with Jamil Amir. I like that strategy. Jamil Amir, the queen does like to close that distance. Nest you can, and then get into the clinch, and then look for the takedown. Nice little redirection there from Halil Amir. Halil Amir looks strong. He looks big and strong. He was able to get his back off the fence right away. He's got Nest you can against the fence. These are the body three of them there from Holy Lemire. See if Doug or Nasu can, can work something here. He's got to try to you know, change those levels, mix things up a little bit if he gets Holy Lemire pressed up against that cage like that. Opening minute, three, five in rounds. Again, this judged as a whole instead of round by round. Wild left there, the hook. That's not stupid. That's really important for Hamil Amir is when Nastukin starts to come forward with those hooks to circle out and not put his back against the wall because that's where Nastukin likes to crowd people and then start doing that dirty boxing with those close range hooks. It's interesting footwork coming from Halil. He's a southpaw and he's circling around to his backside and to Nastukin's power side. <laughs> Yeah, Nasty's trying to pin him right there against that wall. Nice little right hand connects, but it's that good little sidestep there. Circled away from the fence to get his back off the wall and then take control of the center circle. Nice escape by Amir. Back to the center of the one circle. Two minutes into this opening round. Nice jab from Halil. We'll defend the kick there from Nastukin. Fire straight left. That southpaw stands, Halil Amir, the newcomer to one championship. Inside leg kick, Nastukin. I think that's going to be important. Weapon one, two. for Nastukin is to throw that inside leg kick, start damaging the legs of Halil Amir because Halil has got good footwork and the way that he's creating those angles. He does have good footwork. He, it's, it's interesting, he picks times where he's choosing to go to the power side of Nastukin and then times where he's choosing to go to the, the, the opposite direction to the lead. It's modified Taekwondo footwork, right? It's not quite as wide and as bladed as usual Taekwondo, but he is definitely has uh, sort of hints of that Taekwondo style in there. Stuka trying to cut off the angle. Close his hands, got him against the fence. Big left hook to the head. I like those knees though. Firing those knees right up the middle from Amir when Nastukin tries to close that distance. This, this vertical stance from Halil, I, I hope this doesn't come back and haunt him later on in this match. I'd like to see him get his chin down a little bit more and uh, making sure that he's getting that head offline. You know, besides all the trash talking that Amir was doing, he did actually have some really good points about trying to get this match into the later minutes because he feels that Nastukin isn't going to be the same Nastukin as he is in the first five. He said that Timofey swings wildly and gasses out. That's also part of the excitement of this man. Those are your words? Or those are <laughs> it is. Don't put them on me. Please. But it's controlled chaos, right? He does have wild hooks and he does throw big power punches, but there's a method to the madness, right? Like he's trying to really take your head off of your body with precise, accurate shots. You know, after watching Nastukin's matches with Doggy, I don't, I don't see gas as being a problem with him. He throws big and he might utilize a lot of energy on his strikes, but at the same time, he's typically very calculated on when he explodes or when he expends that energy. But it wasn't just Doggy, too. Like he showed you know, he could go long against Peter Faust. Right, there's that takedown hook. Right, and that's what he, perfect timing on it, right? As the first five is about to come to an end, he was able to score a takedown and then has Halil Amir on the run. He got caught up on the post there on his way out. Arm no foul, final 30 seconds, straight right, coming from Nastukin. He just barely grazed if it touched him at all. I don't like the way that Nastukin is standing in range here and allowing Amir to work that, that inside leg kick. Well, especially because he's so explosive off of that lead leg. You know, everything that he does is a big explosion. Whether he's coming forward throwing punches or he's looking for that takedown. To do work on that inside lead leg is a good idea. Nice back kick. 
this in the lightweight division. Estuka, the number three contender against the newcomer, Julio Lamir from Turkey. Lil's being a little bit more aggressive with that right hand, trying to lead with it. But he's only just throwing that big right hand. He's using the small thing behind it. Or in front of it. Good catch from Nastyukin. Charges forward. Nice little hook. He's got a nasty domain. Timothy. On his feet, he's in trouble. And that takes a knee to the head. But Timofey, in particular, was out on his feet there. You can see Timofey comes in with that heavy right hand. Khalil steps back, catches him with two hooks, but it was the second hook that really did the damage. And Ben Nastuk is doing the chicken dance there. And once he smelled blood, he was all over it. You can't give a guy like Nastuk time to recover, because he is, if there's any fighter, Nastuk is the guy who can actually survive from this. So this was smart by Khalil. Tom Wow to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Herb Dean, has called us up to this contest after 58 seconds in the second round for your winner by way of knockout, Halil Amir! Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with your winner, Halil Amir. Wow, what a performance, what a way to make an entrance into one championship with a knockout finish over a dynamic opponent. How you feeling, my friend? Halil, seni tebrik ediyorum. Bu ilk maç için çok güzel bir performansını söyledin. Ne söylemek istersin? Öncelikle Singapur, selam aleyküm, merhabalar. Hi everybody, I love you Singapur. Ya ben için fark etmiyor. Kim karşıma çıksa herkesi yatıracağım. It doesn't matter for me. I will knock everyone out who is in front of me. Well, take a look up here at the big screen. It was the right hand. You hit him with two of them. Did you know he was hurt when you hit him with the first right hand? Uh, şimdi ekrana bakalım. Orada iki elle geldiğini görüyorsun. Sen onu görüyor muydun? O O anı hatırla, hat, e, hatırla ve bize anlat. Evet, tabii ki görüyordum. O direkt üzerime olarak geliyordu. Zaten her maçta aynı şekilde yapıyor. Söylediğim gibi hiç değişik bir şey yok. Bekliyordum ben onu. Yes, of course, I was seeing everything he is doing. As I said before the fight, uh, that everyone, I showed you that everyone. I backed up my words. You did back up your words. Well, you just took out the number three. Ranked contender, how soon would you like to get back in here and who would you like to see next? Sen üçüncü numarayı yendin. Ne kadar hızlı geri dönmek istersin ve kimiyle karşıla karşılaşmak istiyorsun? Ya ben söylediğim gibi ben hiç fark etmiyor. Big Boss kim bana verse onunla dövüşürüm. İki ay sonra, bir ay sonra fark etmez. That doesn't matter for me. Uh, wh wh whoever Big Boss gonna give me, I will win all, all, all of them and I'm waiting for the new date. Well, I don't know what the big boss is gonna give you next, but I do know what the big boss is gonna give you right now, and that's $50,000 for that performance from Chatri Sinyatong tonight. Nasıl bir rakip verecek bilmiyorum ana, ama big boss sana bonus verecek. Yeah, yeah, I hope. Thank you, boss. Ladies and gentlemen, Make some noise for your winner, Halil Amir. Chuyển động cùng võ Việt.